Hey, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we finished up this puzzle room. We activated whatever that thing is up there, and we saw that we we unlocked unlo 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 an underground passage. Um. Okay. Uh, that was stupid. To say the least. So, you want to go? Let's uh, see if we can go go that way. But first, I highly advise you to save your game. Okay, I highly advise that you save your game. One, because you just finished those puzzles and you probably don't want to do them again. And two, oh, and you want to hit this block. Make sure you hit this block because when you get over here, this happens! We've been waiting for you, Mario. Been waiting for you, Mario. Whoa, Professor Flankley, what are you doing here? Thank you so much for opening the door for us, Mario. Yes, that was nice. Thanks to your do-gooder predictability, my plan is progressing very smoothly. Open the door for you? What do you mean by that, you purple witch? Wee hee hee hee! So you still don't see it? Ah, such fools. The professor, frankly, you were with when you opened the house to your door was none other than this little freaking sheet. It's hey, Zoopless! Yeah, uh, my name's Zoopless, but... Wee hee hee hee! The real frankly is sleeping off a nasty bump in the head in a closet somewhere. Poor thing. And once we get rid of you here, our plan will be nearly complete. Ready for the end, my dears? You and that traitor Vivian have a date with eternity. Gah That's right, Slick. Eternity. Shut up, freak. Oh, okay, right, sorry. No, we, no way we go down, sister. You want a piece of this? Bring it on. Come, my sort of lovelies, Marion, Frick Sheet. Gah. I said my name's Douglas. Okay, so, so, you are, you're, you you didn't want to tell us your name before, but now you're okay with saying your name's Douglas. All right, my kind of lovelies, this time we take care of, we take out Mara and his goon squad for good. So, if I catch you slacking, you'll be in for incredible punishment come tomorrow. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Can't do this fight. So, okay, this fight. Doofless is pretty much Doofless from the last fight you fought him. But Marilyn and Vivian, um, Marilyn and, uh, uh, Bellum have more HP, their attacks are stronger, and they have more attacks. So. I suggest doing moves. Holy crap, one hit. One hit, belt belt him. <laughs> I'll leave the rest to you. I I prefer doing attacks that uh, hit all enemies. Just so you can wake up all of them at the same time. Look at that. One turn. Go. One turn. Doofus didn't even, didn't even duplicate anybody. One turn. One turn. Ah, oh, at this rate, she'll never... Ah. Oh. Gah. Eat it! One hit! One bo one Well, not one hit. One turn! One turn! You guys suck! Well, actually, no, they don't suck. That's a hard battle, too. Oh! I know what you're saying. All these boss battles are completely hard if you play the normal way. So, going down here, uh... What is it? I do believe there's like a Thunder Rage or something in there, maybe. Not completely sure. Oh, wait, what? What am I doing? Has it, has it been that long, dude? Fine. You just learned that move a little bit ago. What? Hey, 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 hey. Wait, didn't this not work last time? Nope. Well, you get to see the you get to see the stupid duplication move now. Oh, that's right. Oh, I saw he turned into five of himself. I'm sorry, I thought it was four. Uh, uh, no, actually, this one we show off Supernova. <laughs> So, you want to convert the kicker, it says repeat, just repeatedly tap A as fast as you can. Every time you you get off an attack, it gets harder to do it. 
You have to hit it more times than it gets to go up the entire way. Mine! Yeah! Boom! That's 15 damage to everything on the board. That's supposed to be a last resort move, but when your last resort move is is less than half as effective as your normal attack, and it takes up six, six star power, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be using that much. <laughs> yeah, what now, suckers? What now? You po you pose no threat to me at all whatsoever, and I don't need that anymore. So here, you want to bring out Flurry and blow this down. Uh, you want to stop right here, or actually, a little, probably a little bit uh, closer to the inside. Get on the Yoshi and float across. Okay, this room. Okay, what you want to do here in this part, bring out Koops, hit him over here, hold him there, run over to this part, run here, go across. Okay. That, that one's pretty easy, but the next time you have to do something like that, it's kind of hard. Okay, so... You see these blocks are blocking your way. Okay, you want to go through here, which is actually over here. Do not fall down. And, uh, I think you want to hit... Well, actually, let's, just, let's hit that one to start with. So now you can float across with Yoshi. And fall down here. Party, get coops, get coops, okay fine, get Bobby to do it, Bobby blow this up, switch back to Yoshi, get on, ride him across, uh. so over here, Turn to paper tube mode. Jump across. Wait. Okay, there's there's some secret stuff in this room. I know there is. I know there's there has to be secret stuff in this room. I remember there being secret stuff in this room. The chain shop in this room. Haha, <laughs> lucky. At least I think there's secret stuff in this room. Okay, wait. Did I not use my badge power? I think I totally forgot to use my badge power from last time I leveled up. Yep. Uh. Now what? Uh. Ah, another flower saver. That'll help. Yeah, that's what I'll use. <laughs> okay, well, I guess there is an ace. Maybe I'm thinking of a different room. There are a lot of rooms. There are a lot of rooms in this place. Okay, I guess there is no, uh, secret stuff in this room. I guess you can use Yoshi to get across here, too. Uh, and go through the door. Okay. This room, use your spin jump to get across up on this pipe slash whatever this thing is. I don't know if that's a pipe or not. Okay, can you go across here? The, the little lines on the carpet are your guide for where you want to jump. And fall down right there, lucky, and go through this room. Okay, let's see here. Over here is where start things start to get hard. Okay. I see. I was thinking about my my level up because I, of, of my badge points. I 
It's about to level up. Yeah. 51! I'm gonna have more badge power than flower power. Okay, I swear. Okay, um... Now, what is it... Oh, there's a chest over here. With a shooting star I don't need. I'm about to max out on coins. I'm about to, I'm about to max out on coins. Now, uh, don't need that shooting star. Okay, so uh, okay. See, I want to see. Some, okay. Okay, no. Okay, so what you want to do here is get all over this side, throw Bobbery, run like hack! Run like hack! Oh, wait. No, that's not it. Oh, no, 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 you throw him from the ledge here. That's right. Okay, <laughs> throw him from the ledge here, and then you want to run like hack. Because that is a very fast moving time platform. It took me two hours, well, not two hours, it took me like an hour to figure that out the first time. Okay, you see these stars on the, the, these platforms here? You want to remember which ones are lit up and which ones are not. I usually try to, I like to remember the ones that are uh, not lit up, yeah, that's because there's the least of them, so that's two, five, and seven are not lit up. The pattern cha the the pattern stays the same every time you play the game. So if you can write it down or memorize it, it's good. So you don't have to remember it again. We're gonna save, and next time on Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, we're gonna see if we can get that key for that locked door. See you next time.